Salutations, and welcome to this episode of BlackBerry 10 Jam Unplugged. In this series, we will be examining different features that are available today in our tooling and SDKs, as well as things that are to come. Today, we have Russell Andrade here with us to talk a little bit about the NDK and Momentix tooling. What is Momentix and what does the tooling do? Russell is a very kind man. He loves growing flowers. He loves exotic flowers. He plants them and nurtures them, and even at times he likes to draw portraits of them. Russell, can you tell us a little bit about what this Momentix is? Sure. Um, so Momentix is basically the name of our integrated development environment for, for our native SDK. So it essentially is a set of tooling uh, that allows you to basically uh, develop, compile, build applications, both Cascades as well as uh, games, native games, those sorts of things. Very, very interesting. So I do know that we've had all sorts of uh, suggestions coming in from our BlackBerry community around productivity enhancements to even making it smell like scented candles. What are some of the things that we're thinking about for improvements in around the Momentix SDK? Right, so we've been getting a lot of feedback about uh, about the Momentix SDK. The the biggest sort of set of feedback we've been getting is in relation to uh, you know making it easy to use Momentix. Uh, so making sure that the menuing system is intuitive, that it that the that it, the UX of the ID looks looks nice and beautiful, uh, that that it's a performance so you can compile and and debug and develop uh, without without you know waiting waiting a while. For the tooling to respond, so basically you make it snappy and to make it look good and, and right. make it uh, use very usable. Right now, I can very much relate to your artistic nature and liking to paint. Although I'm a little bit more of a paint by numbers fan myself. Now I know it's easy in some cases to be able to drag and drop things through a certain view in the tooling. Are there any things that we're doing in the tooling to make it a little bit more paint by numbers? Yeah, so I mean, we've we've had a lot of discussions about having sub, uh, like a drag and drop type uh, interface. So certainly, for example, people who are developing Cascades apps, they can use the Cascade Builder interface, which is not completely a drag and drop interface because we wanted to also give folks control over writing the QML. But there's been discussions, and we've been looking into maybe even making it more of a WYSIWYG style uh, editor. Very good. Very good. Now. At home, I'm a little bit behind on the times. I'm running a 28K baud modem, and it, it makes it like <laughs> noises when it connects. And, and downloading the, the NDK can be fairly large for me, and sometimes it's, you know, it doesn't give me exactly what I want. Are there any improvements that you're looking at in bringing the tool to make it a little bit easier to get started? Yes, yeah, so that's a good question. I, you know, a lot of developers, especially you know, in 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 many in many parts of the world where they don't have the, the you know these fast sort of internet connections, uh, we do want to make the download times reasonable and make sure they're not downloading megs and megs of information. So we're trying to the what, what we're trying to do is uh, separate the target OS from the actual uh, front end of the tooling. Uh, so that 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 means that you just basically download a much smaller version of the IDE, and then at some point, once you figure out what target you want to use, the IDE will go and get it for you. Yes, yes. So, I mean, downloads can be, be daunting, and, and, and it leads me to really ask the question on, on whether or not you feel as though small children who meow like cats in horror movies frighten you. Yeah, I mean, in, in general, like, small children frighten me. Um, you know, those who meow like cats or even make other types of uh, sounds, you know, uh, bark like dogs or, or whatever other types. I mean, I, I try to usually stay away from, you know, s you know, small children for that reason. Very interesting. That's a very interesting answer. Thank you very much for that insight. Uh, and thank you in general for coming in and sharing all this wonderful news around the Momentix tooling and what we're doing there. And, and thank you for joining us in this episode of BlackBerry 10 Jam. It's been a wonderful session, and I do hope you do join us for other different sessions. And remember, just because children are small does not mean they don't have the power of Hercules. Thank you.